says he remembers getting super anxious playing this part of the game uh, because all he came down here for was for a letter for a girl and he thought he had sequence broken to a different part of the game which I totally don't blame you. Because yeah, you come down here in case you forgot for totally just a fucking letter, a paper letter. Let's just see where we're at on the thing. So we came out all the way up there, quite high up, uh, right below that red level. And uh, there's still like just a fucking ton more down there. Almost makes you wonder what this world is. What makes up this world. It's a long fall. It's a fucking long fall. Does she ever find the letter? I actually can't remember if she finds the letter. <laughs> Frankly, if I'm remembering correctly, the letter is not really important, so... That, that girl is irrelevant and doesn't matter, so I'm not too concerned about her. <laughs> Man, does she ever get the letter? I forget. How many years ago did that girl drop the letter? Yeah, totally. I agree. You do find the letter. Okay, okay. I totally can remember that. So, the little field wasn't there, so we still have our gravity powers, even though we're in the tunnel. But, did you just notice that? We came in from the side, and now we're going in a different direction. And now we're gonna fucking fall even more. Oh yeah, costume change for the cutscene. A. Hey, here we go. You're not going any further. Why can't you just leave me alone, Raven? Leave me alone. Or be my girlfriend, whatever. That's cool. Then you must die. This place is fucking sick. So the objective here is get past Raven. Not defeat Raven, it's get past Raven. And there's no... There's no way to fight her. She doesn't have... Ah. Bad dodges. She doesn't have a uh, health meter. You cannot actually fight her in this section. You can attempt to, but it won't work. Damn it. I'm eating way too many hits. My dodges are really not on point. health item over there, so I should be able to get to that. Oh my god! Hey, Raven! Hey, Raven! You did it! This fight's tricky. Fight, not fight. This battle. Speed. This air race. Okay, I got a dodge gooder this time. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. I got it, I got it. Ooh, that one I couldn't see coming. I got hit by one. Yeah, I'm super excited for the Switch. Especially since, like, that's gonna be the only handheld on the market, and I love handhelds, so it's like... When she does that attack, I remember you have to you have to really get out of the way or you're just gonna eat it, so... Okay. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. I'm actually gonna get the health item this time, so... So she's like literally trying to protect whatever is down there in case you're in case you're wondering why she's so into this whole gra sick gravity fight. Oh, I need to recharge my gravity. This is going down. I think I can hit triangle here and I can just like I can skip a little bit because I can use my power to go through uh, a full wave of attacks. Yeah, eat it. Okay. 
So we are uh, about a third of the way. This attack's hard to dodge. I'm not good at dodging this attack. Oof, feeling bad. Just doing it again. Oh my god, it's, it, it speeds up, and I can't seem to dodge it consistently. Which game am I most looking forward to on the Switch? Um, oh, fuck me. Probably Zelda or Fire Emblem Musou. Those guys. We do it again. In case you're wondering, yes, all the way. Uh, this section is kind of notorious for that. I remember reading a few people on forums who really did not enjoy this section at all. Um, because it's fucking bullshit. If she hits you once, that's true, I forgot. It knocks you out of your gravity mode. So you need to go back into that mode if you want to dodge again. Oh, no, I need more gravity. This isn't good. This is actually really not good. I'm gonna run into gravity. And it sucks, because as much as I hate having to go back to the beginning, I love this section. Like, it's, it's cool. And it's cool thematically, like... It's cool conceptually. It's cool on all levels, except for when you fuck up. And I guarantee everyone who plays this game will fuck this up. Because it is actually fairly demanding. right through that. If you do manage to hit her, you, you stun her temporarily, but... Uh, is there any difficulty selection in this game? No, there's, uh, there's one one mode of play. Normal. I'm gonna fall for a little bit, because I did manage to hit her, so she has to catch up now, which is really nice. It gives me a good opportunity. Wow, she's really behind. God, was that the strategy? Am I am I just forgetting that that was the strategy that you actually did want to try to hit her in order to get like a couple free hundred meters? Because if that was it, then fuck me, I should have been doing that, and I would have, and I would probably already be done this section. Thanks. Let's see if I get the hit in. Oh, I'm out of meter. I'm gonna eat some hits. Fuck. That wasn't good. This is not good. I don't like this this pattern. <sighs> nice! Great, great, great. Is this section incredibly long? Yes. here. How long is this game? Um, it's about 10 hours long. We're, uh, but I, I've been going at a pretty good pace, so we're actually over halfway through the game already. There's some health coming up. I want to get that health before I waste my meter. Did I pick up the health? I totally picked up the health. 
Fuck, man. I'm sorry, guys. That was really bad. So, I'm starting at the halfway point, thank god. But, uh, god, I actually made it to the halfway point this time. Fuck, man, that was really shitty. I'm really not happy with that. That was me, that wasn't the game. That was me, I fucked up. So, my bad, sorry about that. Fortunately, yeah, halfway point, thank god. I want to try getting a hit in on her, like, without using my triangle attack. Not that I don't want to use the triangle attack. Not that I don't want to use the triangle attack, but, uh, just because I don't have it. And if I can do that, that'll be really good. That's the first time I got hit by that one. That's the first time I got hit by that one that warps you back. It's the worst. That's the worst move. Can I upgrade my evade? No, I need more meter. God, I'm glad I only got hit by that once, but like, fuck me. Thank you, Charp34. I'm starting to feel that way too. Uh, no, the controls aren't bad, Jumbo. Uh, the controls are not bad. Uh, this part is just probably the hardest bit of the game, actually. Okay, let's, uh... Will this hit? Cool, cool, we're making it. Okay, great. Yeah, Vidya Gentleman, I totally agree. I could just do that and then and try to make people have sympathy for me, but I'd rather point out that it's actually me playing badly rather than the game being bad because it's not. Shit. Oh my god. Come on, meter, come on, gravity. Phew. <laughs> hate that. When that happens right when you have no gravity meter, like, fuck yourself. Okay. It's pretty easy to dodge otherwise, dog. I'm actually kind of surprised I got hit by it that one time. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, Negley. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's use that. This doesn't obey the meter or anything, so it can just, it can just fucking go. Probably should have done the projectile, because yeah, that's not going to hit. There we go. Just dodge for good measure. Man, I'm about to go kill myself. This is fucking bad. Uh, this is real bad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's not a funny joke. But, uh, shit. Sorry, guys. I'm, uh, choking here, clearly. Am I salt? Yeah, I'm salt. I'm salt right now, for sure. Let's throw this out. Yeah, I'm mad. That was shitty. And the worst bit is, like, I know it was me. Like, it wasn't the game. It was me. And I botched it, so... 
fuck me. But we'll make it happen. Like, once we're past this game, the rest of the game's actually, like... Or once we're past this part, rather, the rest of the game's actually, like, not too hard or anything. Like, it just kind of goes, you know, so... I hope it at least looks hard. <laughs> that makes me... That would make me feel a lot better. <laughs> I'm gonna drop here, let my meter regenerate. And let's get right back to it. Yes. Okay, I feel like I'm getting a bit better at dodging. Uh, I wish that would have happened on the first go, but hey. Better late than never. Okay, I'm regenerate again. Nice. Oh, well, okay. Kind of figured out how to how to dodge those rock ones though. If you just veer hard enough to one side, you tend to dodge them pretty reliably. All right, let's go. The cool thing is I can just hit her a few times and then cancel out of that. I don't have to actually worry about staying in it the whole way through. Yeah, fuck you. All right, let me regen that meter, and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get it this time. I have a lot of health, so I should be good. Boost as fast as I can. Yeah, yeah, we're good this time, we're good this time. First try. First try. Easy. And edit this VOD aggressively so it looks better. Thank you for persevering through that with me. Because, cripes. Yeah, Manita, I agree with you. I honestly don't remember struggling with that part either, so that's why I'm feeling so salt about it. No, it can't be. Masaka. Yeah, there's a bunch of darkness all over. It's coming. Raven, what's coming? You gotta tell me. You gotta tell me what's up, girl. It's almost like you know something that I should know. No fall damage, so, a. Hey. Yeah, it's possible, start, stop, repeat, that I would have had more upgrades at this point when I played it the first time, but whatever. Again, it's not about John's. Any guesses as to what's keeping her hostage? Uh, Stovetopism, I don't think Fist of the North Star Muso is worth $30. I think you can get that game a lot cheaper. Considering how good it is. Dr. Pazuzu says the fake language sounds French to him. I can assure you, as someone who speaks French, it's super fake. But if it sounded like anything, yeah, I think French is probably the closest that I can name. Kids! It's children! There was foreshadowing for this, and I'll remind you guys about it in a second. We are entering the Lost Children arc. Why'd you lock me up? Why'd you... Why'd you put me in here? Because I'm going through puberty! Did you guys ever see that uh, cartoon, that kid's cartoon, Recess? Remember there was one episode where the kindergartners took over and they were like little savages in that show? That was a good show. I liked that show when I was a kid. I Disney made that show, which explains it. Cyania, hey, your costume looks a lot more intricate than all these other kids. It's almost like you're a character. It's almost like someone designed you to be a character. So, we're getting to this. Kids just don't understand. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for remembering Recess. That was good. It's a fucking good show. So I'm stuck. So you have to jump around in this thing for a little bit. Oh my god, my computer monitor is going to sleep. Exposed. We're still good. 
Now all those scary boys are gone, we can chat. Why? Because it's fun to chat. Look, she's like... What's the word? Is she honeypotting her? Or is that like a sex thing? It's probably a sex thing. That's probably not what she's doing. She's just a kid. Kind of comes to get... Oh, forget about it. Where'd the other ones go? I don't know. They're doing whatever they're doing. I'm new here, and it's time for my nap. Fuck my job. I'm gonna nap. Hey, Cranky. Pretty sure you just keep jumping. Yeah, there we go. Cool. That's totally a sex thing. She is not honeypotting that kid then. <laughs> that is not happening. I thought that was a different thing. I thought that was just... What's the word for when you just try to like... Like there's a saying for when you try to persuade someone who's like... Specifically doing something you don't like. I don't know, maybe she's just trying to trick her. Anyway, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Time to go find my cat, because the kid stole it. So this section is a stealth section. See? Boom. Stealth happens. Uh, and of course you've lost your powers too, so... Uh, I'm just gonna look around a little more. Yeah, there we go. You're supposed to go around there. Are you supposed to go around the back? No, you're not. Okay. This is the area I was talking about before, by the way. Where I was saying there's a lot of uh, gems, and we can collect a lot of gems and power up a lot here. Uh, once we get our powers back, there's big gems all over the place. Ah, here we go. I guess just reverse psychology or whatever. Doesn't matter. It wasn't a very smart observation in the first place. Okay, I want to get this and also not botch at the same time. Great, I did it. And if you just look around, like, these big gems are all over the place in this environment. Like, I can see three right here. And fuck me, there was an enemy around that corner who I did not notice. But it's okay, because I respawned right at that corner. Wow, I really didn't notice that kid at all. So I just gotta run past somebody looking away. Yep. Easy stealth section confirmed. It's weird, um... Both Freedom Wars and Gravity Rush have these, like, odd stealth sections that are just, like, really unsatisfying, eh, nothings of stealth sections. And, I mean, that's always been a, a thing, like, bad stealth sections in non-stealth games, which generally is just all stealth sections in non-stealth games, but I'm sure there are good ones here and there. The Freedom Wars stealth sections are fucking nothing. What's your opinion on the upcoming boss? I don't remember it precisely. If it's the flying boss, I think it's cool, but it's kind of a, a bother to fight, if I remember correctly. Good things. The good thing kids don't develop hearing until the age 13. Good shit, GA. Yeah, at least this stealth is easy. I agree. Yeah, the stealth section at the beginning of Wind Waker was... So yeah, if, if this was the boss here, yeah. Like, it's kind of a fun idea, but he's a bit of a pain. No, Cyania. No. It's alright, Dusty's back. Dusty's done taking a nap or whatever shit he was doing. Yeah, Freedom Wars stealth sections are just, they're just nothing. Like, you can run right through them, and you don't, you don't even have to really pay attention too hard. Okay, cool. It's time to kill it. If you do this just right, you can just go right back. for this guy. But you have to get above him right away or else you miss your opportunity. I think I got him. Which is great. Oh yeah, now enemies start having a bunch of health pretty consistently, so... Nice. Nice. Okay. Oh my god, why'd the camera just zoom out so far? Almost ate a hit because of that. Cool, is that all of them? Yeah, okay, no, there's more up ahead. Up ahead? No, down below. You know what, fucking, it's probably faster to jump off this structure. Oh my god. I can't jump off anywhere. I need to get out. I'm gonna fight the 
weaker ones. Um, and just kill the weaker ones real quick. And I'm going to take that opportunity to build meter and then use um, special attacks on the stronger enemies. Okay, looks like we've got a really good amount of them. Oh! Okay, I ate that. Perfect. Great. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Uh, I think there's only slightly tough enemies left. Nice! Right around the corner. You surprised me. Yeah, jumping whiffs. I hear that they kind of improved that a little bit in Gravity Rush. Um, we're a friend who has a review copy, and after playing it, uh, after streaming this last time, I was like, okay, did they fix all these little niggling issues? And yeah, it seems like a lot of it's vastly, vastly improved in those, in those, in regards to those little tiny problems. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies here. I totally forgot. Let's take advantage of the projectiles. Oh, the camera just like veered to the left for some reason. Didn't like that. There we go. I was really worried to knock me out of that. Cool, cool, cool. Feeling good. Oh, no, they're way below. Shit. Uh, is that all the enemies up here? Yes. This is the last group. Because right. they're down on this special little thing that looks different. I think that's everyone. There might be one flying enemy left, but... No, that might be everyone. Yeah. Take care, Black Otaku. Have a good one. Enjoy Walmart. Yeah, start, stop, repeat. Um, the cutscene switches in... Uh, uh, the cutscene switches the costume and stuff, so... Don't tell me I have to get back in that cage. No, but come to my place. Alright, yeah, sure. Sure, whatever, bro. Yeah, Flare, I don't blame you for not using the telekinesis, but it is really strong, so... I barely use it in my first playthrough. How about you take off that mask? Oh, so, yeah, I'm just a kid. So this is one of the bits where, uh... Th th there's a flaw that is just, like, totally visible. If you look at the bottom of Cat right here, like, at the bottom of her legs, you can see that that art is actually not illustrated quite far enough. Um, and this is something that apparently they've fixed across the board in Gravity Rush 2. So. You the only ones living down here? Yeah, this is our village. No, no adults. We've been abandoned down here ever since our bus fell off a cliff. You remember the bus? You the bu- the- There was a character who, like, talks about a bus falling off a cliff offhandedly earlier in the game. Foreshadowing. We waited forever. Our parents never came- so it's just been you children here this whole time? Look, I'm tired. We're all tired of children. So this guy's name is Zaza, and he's just a kid. He's just a kid, and life is a nightmare. He's just a kid, and he knows that it's not fair. Uh, so now we have uh, an extra little home here, and I'm actually going to save real quick. Actually, no, I'll just auto-save. No, you know what? I'm going to change costume real quick, because that's, that's something we need to fix. Oh, we can't change costume down here. Well... Whatever. While I'm here, I may as well save. Actually, didn't know you can't change costume down here. Don't worry, Jumbo. I am going to play Shadow on the stream when I have stuff actually working. So, yeah. How did they not starve during the fall? Well, yeah, the fall was probably like 10 minutes. And since there's no fall damage, they were okay. 
Now there's just, like, children walking all over the place in their underwear. So this is like another another town hub area, kind of like the world above. It's like a, a fifth area. Sasha, who's that? You meant a lot to Zaza. I wonder where she went. I wonder who that girl is. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Let's head straight on to our quest. So this is the little area uh, illustrated by children, of course. Uh, I don't I don't know what the text there says. I'd actually be interested if there's a translation to uh, read it at some point. Head straight over to our next mission. Let's just gun it. Yeah, it's like little lamplight, except the kids are way less shit. Oh, nice. Actually, you know what? While I'm down here, I'm just gonna grab these guys. And while I'm down here, I'm just gonna grab these guys as well. Because it just keeps going. And like, yeah, collecting those things, collecting a group of three of them like that, you get almost 100 uh, in a single go. So, extremely lucrative. And even though I might not do the challenge missions, I'm still gonna fix their elevator, because I'm a good guy. So. <laughs> we don't trust you, Gravity Mungo? Fuck. That would make me... That would make me want to kill him. Gravity them right off the ledge, you know? It'd be good. New challenge mission unlocked. We can, we can try one again. We haven't uh, done one of these since the beginning of the game, so let's, you know what, let's, let's do that. I'm gonna up my shifting speed, though, if you're gonna do that. Because it is all about going fast. What do these children do when they become adults? Well, maybe they never have a chance to become adults. Maybe they eat the, the ones who become old. You ever think about that? How lucky you are that your parents never tried to eat you. I'm sure someone out there is like, what? My parents did, but... Sorry, I brought up those bad memories. Okay, so 4,200 points. That's a lot. I thought this one would be a race for sure, so I upgraded my speed when really I should have upgraded my other shit. Oh my god, my projectiles keep hitting just objects around the world. Where are we going? Nice. Projectiles are actually really useful for the time trials. Opened his butt up. Yeah. Nice. Good whiff. Great whiff. Nice. Okay, let's go. So these guys, you have to like, you have to let them open up before you can hit them, which is unfortunate because you blow a lot of time. If I was smart with my time, I would have focused on attacking another enemy right there, but I'm not, so. So I didn't. Now I'm gonna throw out this super, because that enemy's pretty big. Okay, cool. I need to recharge my gauge. Fortunately, there's a bit right here in the air. And then let's find that big guy. He's worth a fucking lot of points, if I remember right. And he's only got one spot left, which is fantastic. No, die, damn you. No, you're dead. Okay, cool. Um, we get a little time increase, so we might be able to do it. I had to get, I had to get to what, 50 something, 50, 50 something hundred? Nice, perfect. Great. Get back to land. Any projectiles around here? Yeah, cool. Definitely once you have like full capacity for your projectiles too, uh, they're incredibly good. Because I think you could hold like four or five or something. Something ridiculous.
projectiles because I got hit. 4,200? Thanks, guys. I appreciate someone keeping an eye on the points that I need. Oh, perfect. Gotta get away, gotta get away. I think we're gonna beast on that score a little bit. As soon as I kill this thing, I'm going to go use my power again. And then we should have 4,200. Uh, wow, lots of life. You're a big guy, aren't you? Nice. Nice. That guy didn't even die. Holy shit. Okay, time to use it. Oh, wow. I almost got knocked out of it, too. Oh, but big whiffs on that guy. But I think I'm already good for score, so... Yeah, 4,500. I guess I'll just kill this guy, and then I'll let it, uh... I'll let it wrap up. These guys do fire a lot of projectiles as well, which is why they're a pan deck. And they home a little bit. Uh, in, in case you haven't noticed, uh, a bunch of projectiles in Gravity Rush home. Um, they have like a, a soft homing capacity. Which is fair, because your kick also has like a soft homing capacity. Except sometimes when it has an incredibly strong homing capacity and you almost feel like you're overpowered. Uh, but that's fine. It's a single player game, who cares if you feel overpowered. Oh my god, am I even going to be able to kill this guy? Oh well. It's fine. Perfect, we did it. So for anyone wondering... That's why I said I'm not gonna... Not gonna do all of the challenge missions, because like... They're all pretty doable once you power yourself up a little bit. But like, that's, that's all they are, so... How's progress on JoJo? Well, I'm done, and it was great, so... It's really cool. And yeah, Manita, I wish that you could see your super charging up instead of just waiting for it. Let's just upgrade a bunch of stuff because we can. I always forget it's not the shoulder buttons. Um, tempted to upgrade stasis field, but I do need to get my overall damage up a little bit. May as well upgrade the evasion too while I'm here. The, the Upgrading the dodge upgrades the amount of iframes you have, uh, and also upgrades uh, like how many times you can do it in a row. When you have it upgraded a couple times in a row, um, you can just you can literally just mash it, and you, you have crazy iframes. Uh, yeah, I'll do stasis field as well. Okay, cool. Let's head right on to the next mission. Oh, no, Jumbo, I am not caught up with uh, the JoJo manga, not at all. I'm, I'm watching the anime, because I'm, I'm a sucker. But uh, I do like it a lot, so... Been lying to the others. I told them their parents were on their way, but I know no one's coming for us. I don't want them to know the truth. Thinking that help is on the way is the only thing holding them together. Zaza, you've been protecting, you've been protecting them the whole time? Only thing I'm protecting them is from is the truth. You saw the swirling black ocean below us? Yeah, I saw it. What's up? Someday it'll swallow us. No, I don't want it. So yeah, the, the darkness gets a little higher every day. No big surprise there. We'll find a way to get you out of here. All of you. Too late for that. One of us is already gone, so there, so there won't be any all. Poor Sasha. I shouldn't ever go. Is that Sasha? She looks like a sweet girl. Was she your sister? I wonder who Sasha is. We found Sasha abandoned when she was a little baby. My family raised her like one of our own. She looked up to me like an older brother and followed me everywhere. You're so strong. That's it. That sound, it's back. So we gotta fight this monster again. 
the there's a there's a boss version of this monster too. That's one of the secret bosses, and it is a pain in the ass. Uh, NGC, yeah, I mean this game is worth it for twenty bucks. No, no, of course, for sure. You can find it for cheaper, uh, like digital, is especially. I know you can get it for cheaper than that, but uh, yeah. Got a Mamoru. Oh no, Neo Repo, don't figure it out. Don't figure it out ahead of time. Don't spoil yourself too early. Get the kids to safety, I'll buy you time. Nah, you can't do it. Nushi's invincible. Nothing's invincible. So this guy's, this boss's name is Nushi. And I, I totally forgot about this boss. Till he showed up on the screen. Yeah, NGC, it is, it is totally worth it. There's like, uh, I, I've noticed today, it, there seems to be a much longer latency between, uh, stream and like between when I talk and when you guys hear it I don't know what to call that but it seems much longer than usual oh look there's a group of gems over there I'm gonna go get that instead of fighting Yoshi worth it I forget how you fight Yoshi oh yeah you have to like wait for him to attack or something and then he opens up his weak point I think that's what it was yeah yeah there you go so when he attacks he opens up his weak point yeah Biken looks fantastic and uh, the Guilty Gear version Am I going to stream Demon Souls? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I already kind of streamed through Demon Souls with uh, Pat and Wooly and German Spy, so... I don't feel too pressed to stream the series games. Like, the newer ones, yeah, when the newer ones come out, for sure. But, like... I think there's damage thresholds on this boss, though, so it'll only hit so many times. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. I was going to use it sooner or later, so... Yeah, so with Nushi, I can probably just, like, safely go grab gems whenever he's, like... Whenever he's not doing anything. Because I just have to wait for him to attack before I can do anything. I'll just fall with style for the time being. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to stream more Castlevania and Metroid stuff, too. That'd be fun. Particularly Castlevania, because I, I, I do like Castlevania more than Metroid. I don't dislike Metroid. I just like Castlevania more. Okay, that's good. Should be dead, hopefully, on the next, uh, next pattern. Ouch. What's up, Nushi? I wish I could taunt. That'd be really cool. This is a really hype boss fight. Super hype. Good. I got my meter back, but I'm not gonna waste it. I want someone to validate my love of Metroid Prime. Cycron. Cycron, it's like one of the best first-person games ever made, like, nobody needs to validate your love. Everyone's here for you on that. Nushi won't go down without a fight, you won't be able to take it down yourself. Where were you? Come help me. If you want my help, listen, I'll make a trap. Alright, yeah, okay. Okay, cool, we got a truce now. We're buds, and Nushi regenerates all his health. So if I remember now, you have to lure Nushi to Raven, I believe, something like that. There we go. Bring Nushi over to me. All right, I'm coming. So see, I barely, barely did any damage to Nushi, even though I got like three or four hits. Yeah, I might, I might consider streaming Valhalla when that comes out on uh, Vita. Not just because I like the Vita, but I, I, have, uh, I have a friend who's actually the lead developer on the Vita version. He's the guy doing the port. Um, so I've been kind of waiting around because I want to play, play the version that he worked on, you know? That's it. I know I love the machine, but, like, I do. 
I do like seeing my friends work even more than just arbitrarily picking the deck, you know. So. Okay, so that, I believe, yeah, you just do this three times and the fight, the fight concludes. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting the first time you do, do it, but I have finished the game before. It's one of the things that makes me so excited for Gravity Rush 2 is, like, I finished this game a couple of times, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, I know I know pretty much everything that's coming. So I'm really excited to have, like, new Gravity Rush uh, blast through. And I'm gonna do it with you. Knew she isn't the most threatening name. Come on, it's super threatening. It's terrifying, so. Thank you, Yuka's you, 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 Marvin. I can't read your name. Probably Yuka's Marvin. It's probably right. Oh, hang on, I got food coming. I'm gonna eat food. Give me just a sec. My girlfriend made food. How do I switch this to social eating? I'll do that in just a sec. Do you have food? Yeah. Thank you. How do we switch to social eating? How do we do this? How do we ruin this boss fight? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. I have a drink. I'm still good. Thank you. Let's go, social eating. My girlfriend made me what looks like some frozen Chinese food, which, you know, Seems just fine right now. That's kind of what I'm in the mood for. Edit. So she'll... She also forgot her person here, and she's trying to get it out really quietly. But now that I've noticed it, it wasn't really that quiet. What do we got? What do we got? We got some frozen General Tao chicken. That's what it was. How do I open this shit up? Uh, no. Where are you at, X-Split? There you at. Looks good, actually. I'm down for this. So, how are you guys enjoying it? Mmm. Tasty. So, what's up with you guys? Tell me what your life is like. It's really hot. I don't know if I can deal the temperature off, though. Can I just grab the flavor? It's like when you go to a Chinese restaurant and they serve you really good General Tao, except you can tell it was frozen beforehand. Then you freak out at them, because it wasn't fresh. And they say, well, no shit. And that's the experience of eating General Tao, so. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream. I still really fucking like streaming, so. Stovetopism. You'll do great at that job interview. You'll fill your dream of being a door-to-door -door lawnmower salesman. Uh, White Rice, I still got a lot of Kamen Rider Zero. Uh, zero. Wow. Kamen Rider O's to go through. But I really like O's. I like O's a lot. Right here on my computer. Got O's like right, right fucking here. And look, he's being green screened out a little bit. I can put my eyes in his mask because of the green screen. No, it's not working. But like, yeah. O's is sick. that back. Berserk sub or dub? Subs. I like, I like the subs. But I mean, keep in mind I'm a big weeb and I'll pick the subs like 99% of the time, so. Hey, Corey, that's cool. I wish I had one coming in tomorrow. Oh yeah, Brother Panda, I saw your gun lines. It's coming along. Good luck, Strato Toaster. You'll do it. That synthesis will be great. You don't mean thesis? Any current anime? Um, I watched, um, God, what's it called? Let me pop open my Crunchyroll app. That, like, World War II anime with the lolly character who's, like, super evil. Um, that's pretty neat. I only saw the first episode so far. Um, Saga of Tanya the Evil, I thought was really, really neat. Um, interviews with Monster Girls, too. Of course, Monster Girls are fucking dope. And uh, I read the manga before. I had bought the manga, actually. And I felt like the first manga volume was kind of a waste of 16 bucks Canadian. Because, like, 
nothing really happens in the first volume, it's just character introductions, but they managed to squeeze the entire first volume into like the first episode. So the, the anime is a lot faster and I like it. I haven't watched Academia yet, but gotta catch up. I've been busy this week. I've just been busy this week making sure streaming is like working and shit, so you know. Am I gonna keep growing these locks? I don't know. I'm gonna get a haircut soon, actually. It's kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Long hair is just a pain. What I wouldn't do to have shorter hair again. No, I did not get the black box for Nier. Because uh, I might be ordering an Asian copy, or a Japanese copy, I should say, because it might have English in it. And I'll get an early copy so I can stream it early, you know. Favorite JoJo's Paul and the Ref. He's not even that special, I just love him. Long hair suits me, yeah. I'm not gonna cut it short. Never, never short. I hate that, but like... But like, this long is really long. It's kind of a pain. I think Max has longer hair, though. Hmm. That's tasty. Yeah, I'm still a little miffed Scalebound got canned, but... You know... Even though it's shitty, and like, it's pretty clear that Microsoft pulled some shit... You don't can games casually. You know... It was probably, like... It probably would have got delayed again if it would have been it's still in development. And it would have been like, a four or five year dev cycle, like... Platinum, like, like, I, some people have this notion that Platinum works cheap. I don't really get where that comes from, because Scalebound was probably getting incredibly expensive, to be honest. Anyone notice, by the way, that Raven, like, the sign, the paper sign we're looking at that has the map on it, is a wanted sign for Raven, or it's like the back side of it? Uh, Drifters is pretty cool. It's alright. I wish there wasn't as much, like, humor in it. Because I like the action bits, but the humor is a little bit, like, eh. And yeah, Scalebound's cancellation really bums me out, because, like, that and the new Phantom Dust were, like, the big reasons I got an Xbox One. Um, and, like, D4 was really, really good, but D4 is, like, only halfway done. It's not even fucking finished. Like, Killer Instinct is the only one that I've been really, really deeply satisfied with all the way through. Um, I'm gonna play Halo 5 at some point because I got a really cheap code for it for like $10, but I don't know. Life Will Change is really good, GA. I can't remember, like, the name of 90% of the tracks. Excuse me, 90% of the tracks. But yeah. Favorite Vita game? Probably Freedom Wars. I don't think it's the best Freedom game, it's just like my favorite. I love that game, so. Ugh, cool. Will I be getting the new Mass Effect? No, I don't really plan on it. There's just too many games coming out. Like, there's way too many games coming out. If it weren't so busy, I probably would. Ooh. Ate too fast, I got the hiccups. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right back into this boss fight, if you guys don't mind. You forget something again? Oh, you're coming to take my bowl. Thanks, babe. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Cool. She's really nice, I promise. Yeah, no, I know. D4, probably never gonna get finished, but it sucks. And I don't blame anyone for not being a fan of Freedom Wars. That game has some fucked up shit in it. Like, as in, like, not good shit in it, so. D uh, Phantom Dust didn't change devs. It got cancelled, and a new development team is doing an HD remake of the original Phantom Dust, so. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop right in. Get right back to this boss. I think we're on the last hit now of Nushi. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame anyone for liking God Eater more than Freedom Wars. That's like I get it. It makes sense. Oh I gotta get in there. Nushi's already on the attack. That's fine. Oh no, that's not fine. Oh no. Totally missed that pattern. Fuck me. Never assume you've got the upper hand over Nushi. He's too strong.
Is there a health item around? Yeah, I'm gonna get this health item. Might miss another pattern, but I'd rather not die for the 16th time this stream. Yeah, there's a new pattern for Nishi coming through. I think I might get him this time. Is that enough or no? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that was enough. I'm really surprised, actually. Thank you for being lenient, Gravity Rush. And it spawns like a bunch of enemies in your way. Like all these little prickly enemies and projectile enemies. It makes sense, or else it would be like just a fucking cakewalk, but... I always find it funny when they just when a game just spawns stuff off screen and you turn around and you're like, well, I know you just did that. You're not tricking anyone, so. Yeah, Gravity Rush is social eating. Good point, dude. Good point, dude. Hey, Bruno. It's going good. Hey, Ebony. Hey, you. How you doing? Well, I know you just did Add that. Add friend. There we go. Fix that. Gravity Rush. Done. Bam, piece of cake. Hello. This is Bayo 2. Yeah, this is Bayonetta 2. This is accurate. So. Sasha, Sasha, don't go. I, w I wonder. I fucking wonder. Could she... If it was that easy to get back, they'd have already done it by now. Mom, we can go back and get help. I know someone in the police. He'll help us for sure. No one up there cares. Yeah, that's about right. God, look at Raven. She's cool, too. She has such a cool design. I like her a lot. She's getting a, a, a full mini DLC campaign in uh, Gravity Rush 2. So, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. And I will stream that. Find my own way to save him. I'll use the Ark to get him out of here. The Ark? Didn't understand what Raven was trying to do. She's just so edgy. Da -da 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 -da. I like how they play that, like, right after dramatic moments. But that's like video games, right? So, let's head right on over to the, the, the next quest. There's not too much interesting going, down, going on down here, otherwise. So, let's just blast over. How does Raven get dressed? Very carefully. No. Do I think? Yeah, I think Automata is gonna have a bunch of endings. It wouldn't be a Yoko Taro game without a bunch of endings. So. Oh yeah, this mission. Sainia, so, what are you doing up there? What's wrong with you? Girl, was what's wrong with you? Oh no. It's okay. Cat's a hero. She saved her. Hey. She's not breathing. Masaka. Just slap the kids. Uh. There are things you can see with your eyes and things you must see with your mind. Cat, if you just open your mind, you'll find a way to save the children. You must awaken the power that sleeps inside. This bit's real cool. I like how Cat's making a cute, confused face there. Memories of another world. This bit's pretty neat. I, I actually kind of forgot about this platforming section until I got here. So Cyane is like a, a creator as well. Or that's what they're alluding to, so. I must cross the river of forgetfulness without Dusty. So I have to get to that figure every time. And you have to use these things that shift gravity in the direction that they they display. And otherwise it's just a neat platforming section. VR missions. Yeah, this is VR missions basically. Dare. Oh, she's gone. So this place is actually like it's actually pretty damn fun. If there were VR missions like this, I'd really enjoy that. Let's go. Oh, I missed the platform. Let's 
go. Oh, I nailed the platform. Okay, where's my platform? There it is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, can't fuck this. Can't fuck this one up. Gotta look real cool on stream. Nice, nice, nice. Now I just gotta wait for like an hour for the platform to go back. How motion sick would you get playing Gravity Rush VR? Man, if they did it right, that would be really cool. But I'd have to think about that, because that's, like, that's an interesting idea. I wish Sony would announce more first-party VR games, honestly. Okay. Uh, I don't know about this. Oh, that was close. I almost botched. Yeah, this does look a bit like El Shaddai. I agree with that, actually. It is actually super true. Girls are watching now. Uh, where am I supposed to go from this one? Forget about this one. Oh yeah, there we go. The innocent truth once spoken can never be unheard. So fucking true. Never tell someone the truth unless you're willing to kill them. Yeah, this is safe. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. So it's neat, because this is the same platform we just stood on the other side of. Oh my god, the people saying Edge. Are you referring to Catherine? Because, yeah, now that you say it, I'm just hearing Edge, 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 whenever, whenever these platforms get vaguely near each other, even though they're not touching. Can romance bloom in VR? Yeah, absolutely. If you play the awful, awful game Loading Human, you will see an awful romance bloom in VR. This one's neat. Remember, this room's the like most intricate one by far. But it's not. None of them are hard. Uh, do I want to go up? No, I don't want to go up. Up is death. Uh, and this way is death too, because that'll just send me straight down. So I'll go this way. It's mostly just paying attention, this one. Um, and it's only fun, because this is, like, the only one that has any real challenge to speak of. Like, that'll just shoot me up into that one that'll shoot me off into oblivion. So. I haven't played the Tales of Berseria demo yet. I don't know if I will. Uh, I don't... I don't know if I have time to play Tales. Again, there's so many games coming out that I just... I just don't know. I want to get over there, so I want to go this way... Yeah, this way. Catherine VR game would be cool, for sure. Yeah, this is the right way. I don't know, like, it would have to be, like, just themed. Like, or you're just sitting in the bar or something. Because, like, otherwise that gameplay wouldn't really translate well to VR. But I'd love to be... Like, I, I'm excited for more Japanese VR titles, because... Like, I, I like that, you know, cool anime shit. Okay, I think this is the last one, I think. Where is my platform? Is that my platform? Yeah, yeah that's it. There we go. Senra and Kagura VR. I mean, let's let them get Peach Peach Flash out, but that next. P uh, actually... Um, Takaki was talking about, uh, the producer, was talking about in Peach Beach Splash maybe having some sort of minor VR integration, so. Maybe, maybe we'll be lucky. We got to look at Senran's in VR. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, there was another one. Oh, this one was cool. I always liked this area. It's just so nice. They use some materials. Um, gotta climb up over the right here, yeah. Can you do sick drifts in Peach Beach Splash? I need to catch up on that. 
I need to make sure I'm fully aware of the capabilities of said rounds before I get in. I love a good climbing animation. It's always really satisfying. Seeing characters grab and mantle stuff. I don't know. It's just something I'm really into. Uh, do I want to go that way? Yeah, I want to go that way. Straight to the end. Nice. Yeah, here we go. You will die. Are we like one or two hours from the end of the game? I don't remember if we're quite that far. This bit is fucking cool. I really like this bit. So like, you got this area, right? This bit's fucking dope. Walk over here, and we find this statue. You will die. Everyone fights against the end from the moment of birth. They set their feet down on the ground and move forward and paw at the infinite with little fingers. There's no need to run from the truth. Open your eyes. If you seek understanding, turn around and return to where you come from. And behind you, this huge castle just appears. It's really cool, yeah. It's really cool, this bit. Like, I, I kind of really dig it. Yeah, don't look back or you turn to salt. Yeah, totally. Seek, seek, lest. Thanks, Okami, dude. And we're back, and we're good, and we saw her. What just happened? The world is a dream, Cyania's dream. You and everything in it are just crystallized figments of her imagination. While Cyania sleeps, I shall protect the dreamer and the world she spins to life. Are you, sorry, are you supposed to be another creator? No, I'm a dream guardian. I keep Cyania anchored in the realm between dreams and reality. You're fucking nuts, girl. No, no, now you can just see properly. Open your senses. So now we're super strong. Cyanio goes back to normal. We get to take care of her. Fuck, we are getting near endgame. Damn, didn't realize. So, yeah, for anyone who didn't catch that, uh, the woman turned around and it was totally Cat was the, was the queen. Um, and there is, there is artwork of her out there in that costume. She, Cat is, is super the queen, so. I have no idea what you're talking about. So Cyania, like, yeah, she switches back and forth between the two well she doesn't switch back and forth she rarely switches back to that other thing for important moments just grab some of this experience while we're out here while we're out here transporting this precious cargo Got tons of money all around so we're just gonna load up there's so much like I'm not gonna spend my time out here but like just from here you can see another eight which is like hundreds of XP. I gotta land. <laughs> I didn't think this through. Because if I drop Cyania, that's not gonna be good. Let's go. So yeah, she's a hobo queen. That's that's basically it. What are the purple things exactly? They're like energy crystals, and they power uh, machinery in the world. Um, 
I think the idea, the notion that they float around in the sky is like kind of not canon, but hey, what are you going to do? Yes, cat, uh, Queen Cat was a spirit in Destiny of Spirits. Good good eye, uh, Vidya Gentleman. Destiny of Spirits was a free-to-play gacha Vita game um, that I didn't really like that much, in all honesty. But um, yes, Cat was, uh, Cat was a character you could get in her queen form. And that is where the artwork of her as a queen is from. Um, but yeah, that's, that's totally it. Good call on remembering that. Wasn't sure if anyone would, and I didn't really want to talk about Destiny of Spirits, but yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Raven. We need to get everyone on the Ark. How are we supposed to... I don't have a power source. Don't worry, I can see it. Eyes on the inside. Look at her, the fucking queen, she knows. Yeah, Okami, dude, she was a limited five star. I played Grand Blue Fantasy a little bit. It's alright, but um, I'm not super into it. Gacha games in general, I tend to fall off of pretty fast. Yeah, the transitions are nice from comic to in game, they're pretty good. Door's been there the whole time. I just had to let myself see it. Come on. Take everyone home. Let's go. I brought the children. Oh, no. Yeah, get in. All right. Yeah, sure. You better not be giving the children false hope. Nah, it's, it's good. It's good, Zaza. Don't worry. Episode 16, Children of the Past. Holy shit. We are blazing through this game. There's 21 chapters. We are going way faster than I thought we were. chicken on top. Here we go. <laughs> now drop the ark. Yeah. <laughs> and all the children. Okay, you gotta do something. Okay, gotta kill Nushi. I can see the weak spots now. My eyes on the inside. Let me see. So Nushi's just got all these weak points now. I'm gonna try to get ahead of him and get a lot of hits in with the special. Uh, I think I got just the right range on That's a great spot. Perfect. That was wonderful. Really content with that. So he's going to keep firing projectiles too, so I have to watch out for them. Uh, let's regenerate some gravity. Can I make it to that? Yes. Great. There's health right here. Nice, nice, nice. This fight's going to be a piece of cake. Already broke a few of them too, so. Let's go. Let's fucking go, Nushi. Oh, autocorrect. Autocorrect literally saved the game. This would be, like, it would be miserable if the gravity kick just fired straight and didn't have any sort of autocorrect. You would never hit anything. And this game would review as, like, a fucking three. Because air combat would be impossible. Yeah, this had a lot of health, I remember this. Like a stupidly large amount of health for no reason. Get some life while we're out here. Yeah, as well. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. And now the real weak point. We'll get ready to go here. Do I just need to wait for it? I think I just need to wait for it. I don't 100% remember. I don't think it's on its front. Is it on its front? Let me, let me just look around. May as well. No harm in that. Gotta watch my life, though. 
Gotta charge up his attack. And then we do it together. Like I see he's got that black like electricity looking stuff all around him. Is that your attack you're charging up, Nushi? You gonna do it? Am I using the gyro or the analog stick? I'm using both actually. Uh, if if you use both the gyro and the analog stick, you have a really good um, you get really excellent control cat. Like, just using one, you will, you will hinder yourself. Oh my god, he knocked me out of it. Nice. Okay, let's, um, let's not die. Number one priority is not die. So let's go grab some life. That was real close. My fucking super got, like, I got knocked out of my super. I still got a few good hits in with the super, but, like, fuck. Welcome to King of Fighters, where your super gets beaten by a jab. Let's grab some health. Let's try not to die another time in this turn. I think Nuji's charging to fire up that beam. Yeah, he is. Let's go. I didn't know it, like, notified you from a distance. Am I gonna hit? Nice, nice. But then I can kill as soon as I get in range. There we go! Awesome! Perfect. This was one of her ultimates in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale as well. Super good looking, her level 3. Really awesome. Actually, in her level 3, she gets to keep the form, too, and she has these big claws. It's really nice. I wish she had that in Gravity Rush, too. Or I hope she has that in Gravity Rush, too. That'd be really nice. <laughs> Fuck yourself, cat. You lose, too. Sorry, queen. Yeah, there we go. That. That's what you get in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Is you get that form, and it's fucking strong. It's so nice. I think the P5 English VAs are fine. Probably gonna play it in Japanese anyway. They're fine. It's fucking sick. Dusty saves the day. Yeah, she does all this in heels, because fuck you. Yeah, they must be so excited to see their parents. Zaza would be excited too. If only Sasha were here. Sasha? Zaza showed me a picture. He's super sad about it. Maybe we could have saved her too. Wouldn't have made a difference. How do you know? Yeah, Sasha, well. <gasps> Raven is spider? Raven is shadow? What? Why are you super old? Because time passes differently. It's different. So city alderman's like, yo, gotta keep gotta keep the town missing and we'll make stuff work. Why didn't Danelica want the town back? Why did he do it? What's he doing? Yeah, she's Namtar, exactly. Oh no. You didn't win, cat. You didn't win. La shudu mashi. Sevi saloi etu. Leven duon shu. Iblans jues fondu. Yeah. Is your kirpo. Le la du masinsu. La bonu. Hey, you did a finisher. Yeah, totally. Finishers all day. If I could, I would only use finishers in this game, because they're sick. On every normal enemy. 
So you'll notice also that those those little islands are obviously shaped like teeth. Um, I don't know why, or if there's any meaning to that. And if someone knows, I'm, I'm curious, but they're shaped like human teeth. Um, you'll see it as we climb up. See, and they're very distinctly like human tooth shaped, especially when you get close to them. What's this tutorial you want to show me? Gravity storms. All right, it's nothing. Thanks, guys. See, they're, they're like human teeth, and there's a lot of them. And I wonder if there's, like, a deeper meaning to that. Or if it's just, like... That's a cool shape, I guess. Like, maybe it's just the director's favorite shape. is like, tooth. Maybe they were like, making, like, a really scary horror game. They were like, we have to make these floating islands. But we only have tooth models. Well... It'll do. Ow. Flew right into that. I'm gonna fight this guy while I regen my meter. And actually, you know what? While we're here, let's just upgrade. We got tons of meters, so... Continue getting some of the cheaper ones. Just uh, round ourselves out a little bit. Um, I don't want to get Spiraling Claw. Spiraling Claw is just... It's good. It is good. But Gravity Typhoon is just so much stronger. Um... Yeah, I guess let's just dump some in here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save up for health again because again, I don't want to die again on the stream. That'll be good. I'll spend, I'll spend, uh, I'll spend my spare time dying off stream. A lot of, a lot of experience on this island. So I'm gonna grab it all. Where are we going? This is one of those games where you definitely need the markers to tell you where to go, or else you'll just spend a lot of time spinning around 360 degrees in the air, looking blindly for it. Okay, cool. This isn't really like a hard section either. I'm not gonna bother fighting all the enemies either. I don't think I ever fought all the enemies in this section, because it would take fucking forever. Like, it just doesn't seem worth it. Like, what's the benefit? Nothing. You don't even get crystals for fighting enemies, if I remember correctly. You just have to, yeah, you have to defeat these five, and that's it. So, let's just throw out the super. Over there. You should be dead. You should be dead, too. Oh, no, still got some, some orbs on his back. Great, 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 great. Whiff. No, I can't. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Feeling good about that. Nice, perfect. Oh, you're right, you're right. The teeth totally are symbolic of eating the apples in the game. Because the apples are symbolic of also nothing. <laughs> like, the apple and the teeth feel like meaningless symbolism in this game. Um, so, yeah. Now people are all going to tell me the apple has some sort of deep meaning. And I'm going to realize that I was totally wrong about that. But hey, that's fine. I've been wrong about more important things, so... So now, we climb back up. Of course, because of course. There's like a needless amount of health items. Come on, you can do it. Wow, that was weird. She didn't get smoothly on the wall. So we just gotta go like a thousand meters. And fuck it, we're not gonna fight the enemies either, because we're better than that. There's there's no real point to it, there's no real reward or anything, so. Oh, the apples are gravity. Yeah, I'm I don't think I've ever said something so stupid. <laughs> now that people point that out, I'm like, holy shit, holy shit. Super exposed. Super exposed. Super exposed. I love that. Yes, Yukas Marvin, you're correct. Some old dead dude demonstrated gravity with apples. Wow, I can't believe how exposed I am on that. That's like fucking guard break. Guards shattered all over the place. <laughs> gravity Queen, I'm so lucky. Yeah, alright. It's kind of dangerous. Followed the pillar, and one step led to another, and I fell. And there's no fall damage in this world, so... Yeah. Alright, let's go back up there. Alright, we'll be good. 
Okay, so we just gotta go up to this flower area. I remember what happens here. I totally remember what happens here. We, we talked about this a little bit in the chat earlier, actually, because I was wondering if something happened. And now I remember that, yes, something totally does happen. And when you see it, you'll all be like, wow, something happened. Um, which way is up? Uh, that way is up. Yeah, this way is up. That happens in this game. Like, which way is up? Totally. So. Yeah, Flare, hold the fuck on. Did we get the letter? I saw the letter somewhere on that big rock. Now, where did it go? The letter... <laughs> The letter. Huh? Are it? Defeat the Nevi. Yeah, alright. Sure, bro. Not gonna be able to destroy all of them, because those guys didn't open up their weak points. Actually, I, I barely killed any with that. Unfortunately. Let's get rid of this fish guy, because he's the most annoying. Nope. No, nope, like bad. No, nope. also no good. You know this thing's gonna open itself up, so I'm gonna hit this thing. No, nope, also no good. Nice. And a bunch of experience, a little bit of life. Don't need the life. I'm full. But what else? We got it. And I guess I'll go trigger this guy so I can actually fight him at some point. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Okay, that's going great. You're right. The apple invented Newton. That's true. That's true. Remember that. It's okay to be sleepy, Ursula. We all are. Is this the letter? Yeah, that's the last letter I wrote to my girlfriend. She's been looking all over for it. Can you take it to her? Can you take it home for me? Let's go. I can't go back. It's time for me to move on from this world. I already have. So this guy is already dead. And we're in a world where dead people can totally just be around. So Cat literally saw a ghost just there. Hey Jordan, how you doing? gun my way up. There's a lot of experience to be collected here. But I feel like we're doing pretty good at this point for experience. We have another 11,000 right now, so I'll just grab the ones that are on the way. And take a second to regenerate. How'd I know your name? That was easy. It's right there. Your username clearly says Billy Joe Bob. Ah, nice. Hit me out of my super. Oh, good tech. Good tech. Hit me out of my supers again. This fight's a bit of a pain in the ass, because you have to fight an armored version of that big enemy. I'm going to run out of gravity, so I'm just going to let myself fall. Let's get rid of the projectile enemies first, because they are annoying. So this is, this is also one of the flaws with Gravity Rush, uh, the first, is just the combat is not super thrilling at a certain point in the game, because you're just kind of throwing out gravity kicks and hoping they land. Uh, and, like, truly there's no other options. Like, I can't get on the ground and attack or anything, you know? I'm, I'm literally, this is my only option, is just to throw out gravity kicks and, like, hope they connect. Um, so in Gravity Rush 2, they've done a lot to combat that. Like, for example, there's new Gravity Kicks. Um, yeah, there's more Gravity Kicks that have uh, higher chances of hitting and stuff like that. Um, that are a bit weaker. And there's different attack styles. Wow, that just locked onto the wrong enemy. I'm going to wait till I have a super to fight that enemy. Or the projectile dragon. Nice. Okay, time to blow this guy up. Oh my god. Oh, phew. He almost knocked me out of my super. He came so close to knocking me out again. I would have been mad. I'm not going to front. I would have been mad. Got to get more meter. Ooh, nice. Almost.
almost got nailed. These guys do a fair amount of damage too, I remember. Did I just fly away from one? Yeah, I totally did. You can just mash repeat gravity kick, yep. Yeah, that's the that's the strategy in this game in a lot of places. Can you play as Raven? No, you cannot play as Raven in this game. Uh, in the second game, you will be able to play as Raven. At very least, in uh, in one of the DLC packs they announced. Ouch. That was a big hit. And it's fights like this where it's just like, yeah, I'm not doing anything. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, primary. I know. I know the sound here. You mean you mean the announcer sound? Counter like that. That that sound. It's great. Can you play as Raiden? Uh, you can play as Raiden in the sequel. In the second game, there's a DLC, and you play as Raiden. Um, so that's cool. The Mortal Kombat one. You can play as Jack Bauer, and as Jack Black. Uh, you can play as the Apple. Uh, you can be Virgil. Um, this is all good input, guys. This is all good input. I don't know how you know about all the alt characters, because it's kind of spoiler territory, but... Uh, it's good stuff. So we're finally, like, actually getting back to the city. Um, and thankfully, if you ever want to go back down there, you don't have to take that path down. You can just teleport once you get back up. Because, uh, dude, like, fuck that. I would never want to go back down there after getting to the city. Huh. It's all quiet around. Huh. It's like there's nobody here. And there's military posters everywhere. And, oh no. Oh no, what happened? I love this shot. It's super nice. Mayor Danelica. Bolsey's out. Play that military theme. Check it out, we got another Nushi. So these Nushis, they're fucking strong. Like, it, it took a while to kill one, so... Boy, check this shit out. We're entering the Hitler arc. Here we go. If we don't have gravity shifters, let's just fucking make our own. Just invent our own technology so we can do that. Look at her. She doesn't have legs. She has mechanical feet. It's hardcore. It's been a year since we last met, hasn't it, Shifter? I... What? So, in case you don't get that, this is a sea wasp. She's awesome. This is twice now that you've screwed up and brought the Nevi to Heeksville. So, in case you don't get that, time travels way, way faster down there. Uh, and that's why Raven is so much older than she was before. So. I need to go home and take a shower, and, and I'll, I'll think about your offer, buddies. Cat! It's you! What's up? Look, Sid's all scruffy on his face now. Oh, with Mayor Janelica in power, the police got absorbed into the military, and we're working together now and doing our best to fight the Nevi. Where have you been all this time? Yeah, alright. Uh... The letter took a year to get, yeah. So we got the letter, but we didn't return the letter. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Unica slash Sea Wasp is like a cool weapon. She's super tough and stuff. Hey, Gade, what's up? Yeah, I gotta have a shower. I, I stink. So Raven and the children are still nowhere nowhere in sight. Surely the Ark must be back by now. Surely. Autosave and... Yeah, we do it. Gotta change my costume. I need a better costume. 
Uh, let's change to maid, because we used the schoolgirl one for quite a while, so. Yeah! And let's save, just for good measure. Just, just why not? What do we got, chapter 14 or 15? 